Okay, it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Now, got some good news, and I've got a new camera coming, which I ordered from Cash Converters. It's about four pounds over my budget, but it's a good one. I've looked it up on YouTube and seen footage from it and everything, and it's a lot better than this camera that I'm using right now, so... Just waiting for that to arrive, so I thought in the meantime... Do a video on this seed, um, DVD drive that's... Well, if you remember from my previous video... Yeah. The drawer is stuck like that, and I want to see what's inside this and if I can do anything about it. So I've already removed the screws, so hopefully... Um, I'm not exactly sure how this comes apart, I'll just... Okay, here we go. Oh, it's no wonder it's so light. I was expecting a lot more on this than just all this. So, let's see if we can see anything in here. That might be causing the problem. I guess I don't think that would be move... Problem, but... Yeah, there is definitely something stuck here. Looks like I'm going to have to whip my screwdriver out and uh, see if I can get this apart any further. Okay. Well, with a lot of panting and whatnot, finally got the top cover off. There's almost no metal in this, so okay, yes. Yeah. This assembly here, but that's about it. I want to see if that's freed up anything. Or at least giving me a clue as to what's getting stuck in there. Oh, is this little thing sticking up? I don't know if that's part of it, or if that's something that's found its way into there. Yeah, I really think that this is a cam or something that's come out of alignment. If I could pop this tray off... Because if we... Um, if I turn this sideways, you might be able to see. When I push this in... The lens and the motor come up. Now that's not supposed to happen until this is all the way in, so... Yeah, there's definitely something out of alignment in here. Okay, so I think if I take these two screws out, we should be able to get into this a little bit more. And look, I'm using a proper screwdriver, I'm not using a steak knife. I know I got badly criticised for doing that in one of my other videos. Just whatever comes handy, you know? Okay, change of plan. I'm going to pop it off these little catches here, so hopefully I can get this to come out, which it still won't. Let's just try to do the same the other side. Don't really want to break anything here. I don't really have much choice. Unless... Oh, now I can move that a bit more. Oh, it's a little bit dusty in there. So whatever it was catching on, it's not catching on it anymore. Okay. Got the tray out. So I think I figured out how this all works. So, you see this gear here. This moves the laser assembly up and down. And also, it moves the tray in and out. Look on the tray, there's a track there which engages with that gear. And also there's another track here, like a cam track, whatever you want to call it. And that engages with that little pin here, which moves this pit down so it can engage with the gear and move the laser assembly. So I think if I just put this all back in it should all just slot in, and it should self-align. So, let's see if I can put this back in. Okay, yeah, I'm making sure that this is lining with that track on there. And hopefully, just slide that in. And yeah, 
There we go. Touching the laser assembly with my hand there, that's not a good thing. Look at that. It can now come in and out. And people say they wouldn't trust my repair skills. Question is, does this still work? A slightly concerning thing I was not aware of. You see this chip here. Looks like it has a window on it. And I can tell you there's no window there and I think I might have been directly touching the die inside that chip. I hope I haven't, because if I have, there's a good chance I would have killed it. But yeah, let's just see if this still works anyway. So, we we'll start the assembly process. Now, this is the hard part. It's got some screws here. It's kind of a pressure fit here. Cut my thumb there. Let's see. Okay, now this has got itself in the way. Um, as Big Clive would say, one moment please. Okay, I managed to get that to snap into place. And this is pretty easy to fit. So, I'll just screw that back together and see if it works. Alright, so here's the moment of truth. Except the rather dilapidated state of this worktop here, I'm, but I've got the CD player, I, I keep saying CD player, I'm, I'm used to calling these things CD players, that's just me, but anyway I've got it connected to old Franken PC here, so uh, let's turn it on and see if it works, okay well I heard it made a few weird noises, just settling itself, of course this computer is going to take forever to boot up because, you know, this is my old i5 PC with Windows 10 on it. And, you know, it's not optimized for Windows 10 at all because, well, this is a lot older than Windows 10. So, um, yeah, this is going to take about seven hours to boot. So, um, yeah, I'm going to come back when this has got it smacked together. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's been about a minute since I put my password in, and we're still at the welcome screen. If you wonder why the colours look a bit weird, it's because I've got this in high contrast mode, because I think that looks kind of cool. Okay, so a little while later, and we're finally at the desktop. But look, it, it's, it's still loading. The green light means hard drive activity. What is it still loading? The desktop is right here. The desktop has loaded, so what is it still loading? I'm going to go into Control Alt Delete here. I'll bring up the Task Manager. Any day now. Uh, performance. Come on, hurry up! I don't have all day. This computer is just, I mean, look at that, look at that. What is taking up 100% of the CPU? Now, are we actually going to get the performance tab? Yeah. And what is taking up 100% of the hard drive? The hard drive is working flat out right now. And there's nothing going on. It'll be like this for about five minutes. And then everything will settle down. Okay, well, I think we're ready now. So, um, let's see if the CD, um, DVD drive opens. And yes. Okay, well, I didn't realise how bad the lighting was in this part of the video. So I decided to reshoot it again, but this time with a much better light. Put a disc in. I think I may have to replace that belt, but that's going to be done at a later date. 
Okay, so the disk is in. Let's see if any of the files come up. I'm going to turn off my light. So I'm not getting glare from that. It's not showing anything, but I, you know, it may just not automatically come up. Let's see. And yeah, there we go. One fixed DVD drive. So, I'm going to call this a 100% success. And until next time, goodbye.